water. route. The natives and Aboriginal people. Aboriginal people's intimate knowledge of the mountain passes was invaluable to European fur traders when they arrived in the 1700s. The pass was named for Joseph Howes, a trader with the Hudson's Bay Company who crossed the path in eight pass in 18 here it gets you through the mountains a pass so they used to kayak up and down here and trade furs you gotta think back in the days no highways it was just woods and rivers she would be uh one one hard life back then boy beautiful the peak is sure high Interesting. We're on our way to Mistaya Canyon. Just saw this, figured we'd check it out. <laughs> Look, you can see, you can see where the forest fire burned and then up there where the water melts and comes down the mountain it actually stopped the forest fire so you got bush and then you got burnt out all the way up the side of the mountain that's pretty neat Oh, you'll be bear food. <laughs> nice little path. No, you never. Liar. Actually, we did see a bear and cub. Right I'm the bear. I got the belly like a bear. Yeah. Oh, I used to work forestry. That's a disease the trees get called yellow witch's broom. Usually, when it's healthier, it has a yellow tinge or it's budding or whatever. Yep. Disease. There's a bunch of it back there. Where are we? Yeah. Where are we? We are in the Jasper. Mistaya Canyon. Mistaya Canyon. Mistaya Canyon. Potential fall hazard. Winter use beyond the bridge is not recommended. You're responsible for your own safety. Okay. Time to get the fat husband out for a hike. <laughs> Burning, we're burning fat in here. Yep, burning fat. Hiking, mountain hiking. Are we doing a mountain hiking in here? Well, it's not that far. Not that far. So one thing that you don't get out of a video is how it smells here. Oh, it's so fresh and. Smells so good. This smells so good down here. So I, I, I love the nature. Huh? There's a trail. 
Amber wants to take us down some crazy trail. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Never mind, he says. Sweetie dough. Smells so good with the bush. It smells good. I See love the, fir the tree? nature smell. Fir tree. Hmm. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a bear. Bear hunt. Bear hunt. Bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. Sure. We'll just put some sausage in your pockets and send you in the forest. Actually, I got banana with me in my pocket earlier. Well, that would do it. Yeah, a little farther down the, the trail. Sound. The nature sound. We can tell we're getting close to the canyon because we can hear the water running. Yeah. Pado Lake. Huh. I work for an oil company called Pado. Yeah. The Mastaya River rises in Pado Lake. It leaves the flat bottom valley here and plunges into this narrow canyon. Potholes in the rock formed by swirling water and rock debris indicate previous water levels. The rumbling water below is still at work, cutting, abrading, and dissolving the limestone rock. Two and a half miles downstream, the Mastaya joins the North Saskatchewan River. All right. There's a bridge. Hear the water rumbling away. Wow. That is fascinating. Very cool. I have a death grip on my phone so I don't lose it. where it used to be up here and it's cut down through the rock over the years. You guys want to go over there and look? Yes, okay. Yeah, if we go over there, I want you guys to be aware that it's dangerous. So be very careful. Don't go too close to the edge, okay? I don't want to lose my pretty little wife in that crazy water. Oh, that's there ain't no saving you in there, baby. It'd be all over. You'd probably get hypothermia before anything. This is crazy. 
Holy crap! The beauty of Canada! Look at that! Can you hold it? Hear the power. That's where we just were on the bridge. Wow. That's scary. Be careful of the loose rock, baby. I worry about my wife so much. She's my whole world. My everything. I'd be devastated if something happened to her. This is scary. She plunges down in there. I can't hear her. <laughs> the power of this water is so humbling. It really is. It makes us feel so insignificant. It's amazingly beautiful in here. I Isn't love it? Grinder. Oh, oh, boy. You 
and all that stuff. here to have a little better look and I'm like what's this thing hanging <laughs> there's a caterpillar hanging from a it's so weird oh, <laughs> oh yeah Don't touch me! <laughs> Ooh, this is precarious. I'm gonna hold on to this tree just to be safe. Oh uh, yeah, I'm not going any farther than that. I think this is an overhang. That's crazy. Crazy place. Crazy place. All right, I've had enough of this ledge. It's, the it's natural scary. fear instinct in me says, "Stand back." <laughs> <laughs> it's scary. One step, one, one more step, step, and you're gonna fall. One step over the line, <laughs> sweet Jesus. One step over the line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a dork. All right. Time we to get our still, cardio in now, climb up and up and up. We've been doing a uh, mountain hiking, but we cannot see any bear yet. She's destined to see a bear, and when she does, she'll probably wish she never saw it, because we'll be chasing her. Oh, uh, I, I, I love it. <laughs> okay, then. What are those, babe? Yeah. I think... They're doll sheep. Are they? Doll sheep, I think. I could be wrong. Some people just got no patience. Can I go closer? Huh? Don't get too close, babe. Oh, are they going to attack you? Well, I don't think so, but good practice not to get too close, I think. Look at the baby. Oh, he's so cute. I can just smell them. Oh, he's so cute. I can just smell them. Yeah. Well, oh, the baby's cute. Yeah. Okay, it's starting to rain. We saw the sheep. Let's go. This guy has a camera, a long, long camera. Oh. 